If you're new to trail riding, then you might like to book yourself onto a course at one of the specialist training centres, such as the Yamaha Off-Road School in Wales, run by 10 times British Enduro champion Geraint Jones. There you'll learn some basic off-road skills while being guided through a beautiful and spectacular part of the country. The off-road experience came about because uh, we used to run, or always have run, advanced enduro schools. Uh, and we had a lot of road type riders coming along wanting to have a go at off-road. And we found that the advanced school was basically too difficult for them. So we felt there was a need to have a, like a bridging gap. So we thought we need some form of introduction to off-roading really and that's how the off-road experience came about. We start the day off, uh, people usually turn up about 9.30, 10 o'clock uh, in their cars. We then uh, get them signed on, kitted up and usually leave the yard by about 10.30. Usually go to a, a field to start off with, a nice field very similar to the one we're on now. Uh, to, just to make sure that everybody's in control of the bike and uh, just to get everyone going. And then we progressively get more difficult as the day goes on. As the group come along and they become more capable, we use more difficult terrain. It'll vary at every school really because it always depends on how good the group is. But we usually spend a couple of hours out in the morning to start off with uh, very much a learning part of the day. We then come back to the yard and have a bite to eat, fuel the bikes, straighten them. And then the afternoon we go on to more difficult terrain out through the woods and onto the moors. Uh, we spend a couple of hours out on the moors. We have a brief encounter with a motocross track and then it's a long trail ride back. We're out between four and five hours really, usually groups of ten. Uh, with two instructors. Uh, we like people to have ridden a motorcycle at some time, but we have had people that have never ridden uh, a bike at all. Um, it, it is obviously an advantage if they can control a motorcycle to start off with. Uh, it can be a little bit of a problem uh, having sort of total beginners and some maybe that have done some off-roading, but we mostly cope because there are usually two instructors out with each group. So if you've got a couple who are really struggling, one can take them one side and give them some extra tuition whilst the people that are coping quite well you know can just keep zapping around the uh, various loops we usually try and get them much more relaxed on the bike uh, the problem we find that a lot of the people who come along are used to riding road bikes where you sit down all the while you know very comfortable uh, we get great difficulty in getting them to stand up and feel and feel comfortable standing up the problem is on an off-road bike you're stood up probably 80-90% of the time. So to try and get them into a decent stance so that they feel comfortable and they can cope with and you know, not get too tired really is quite difficult. The type of terrain we ride on uh, in an off-road experience usually, as I say, starts off with fields. But then we go into woods and slopes, uphill and downhill and, and across cambers we find quite a problem to most people. So we try to sort of uh, focus on, you know, the hills and the slopes and what have you. We also ride on uh, some mud and roots and we pretty much try and cover everything if it's at all possible in a day. Uh, the bikes we use on the school are mostly uh, Yamaha WR200 enduro bikes. Uh, we have a few DT125 trail bikes uh, and the TTR254 stroke. And then, as I said before, we have RT-100s. They're really small for complete beginners and novices and youngsters. Um, and we've got YZ-250s, YZ-125s. So if we get someone who's really capable, you know, they can have a spin on an out-and-out -out competition bike. Anyone um, can ride the off-road experience, but we like to have people of at least 12 years of age. So they've got to be physically strong enough to hold the bike up. That's the main thing. But we've had... Uh, youngsters of 12 years of age and we've had a gentleman of 68 years of age on the school so they, they seem to cope quite well. They go away very tired but they cope okay. But you can turn up for an off-road experience in your car, we supply everything, all the clothing, all the kit, protective gear, plus a bike to eat and basically you can spend four or five hours on the bike and then drive away and leave all the dirty stuff behind.